Hello YouTube, I'm Cody and let's start coding. So for today, uh, we'll be building out my very first application using Python and uh, that will be a calculator. Uh, so I have my mycalculator.py uh, file open. So let's start this whole process. So the very first thing that I want to do, I want to create a function that will perform these calculations. So if we start, so let's put in a comment to say we want to perform these calculations. Then um, we have to define the function. Def, let's name it calc for now. Then what we'll need is an operation. So plus, minus, uh, multiply and divide and, and so forth. And then we'll, we'll need two numbers for example, so x and y. So this is our function name. And then we need to check which, which type of operation to perform. So um, let's think we have, for example, a plus, minus, divide, multiply, and modular. So that's five different things. So let's maybe use the, the if functions. Uh, if you have another, another um, way in which one can do this, please let me know down below. But for now, this is what I know. So um, op, if operation equals, let's say, plus, for example, then we'll go into answer equals x plus y so that's straightforward then we go over let's say alif so if operation is equal to minus then not zero then we want it there should be two equal signs um, so then we say answer equals x minus y then if we go to alif operation equals divide then answer equals x minus y. So I have t tab 9 installed as an extension uh, on my VBS code um, and this really helps out with what you've seen now. So let's go to the next one. If operation is multiply then we want to say answer equals x multiplies by y and then last one if operation equals let's use the percentage sign for modular then uh, we'll go to answer equals x modular y and uh, yeah these are five operations then as soon as we have all of those we can go into the return so we want to return the answer so i see we get an error here so they just it, there's a equal sign needed so here we can see our function uh, to perform the calculations so that's the very first step <coughs> All right, so then if I move over, so this, the, the second function that I would like to add is to format the, the calculation and the answer. So if we want to print that to the screen, we want that in a certain format. So we'll create a function for that. So let's say def uh, format, uh, let's do format calc, and then we can say uh, op x y uh, so we want all of those as well and then if we go into the, the detail we can say that the answer equals so we've defined a function there at the top so calc and the free function so what this does is it will go into the calculation so it will call the calculation function using the the operation the x and the y value and it will give us the answer so what we can do then is we can perform the print function here so we can say print and then uh, we can use the if string if you're not familiar with the if string this is just where you can add variables within the string uh, um, section and it will replace the values that you can see here so we've added x operation y equals and then we can add our answer as well so answer so that's our uh, format of our calculation that should be done now we can move over to the main loop so let's uh, put in another comment here so main loop and then what we need to do here is while let's say while true so we want to run this continuously until the user doesn't want to use the calculator anymore so the very first step is to get the user input so let's say user uh, equals input um, please enter a calculation and then we can put in a colon and a space so that's then the user the user's input so so the very first thing that we need to check is whether the user wants to exit the loop and what we can do there is we can say if user equals and we can assign for example the value n then we can say break so then it will break out of this loop and the whole program will stop at the end
All right, so what we can do now is let's define the operation list. So all the operations that we want to have a look at. So what we can do here is include the plus and we can include the, just make this a little bit more neat, the minus and then the multiply and then we want to divide as well. And then lastly, we want the modular operation. So now we have our list of all the operations and then we need to si assign a value to the operation. So at this point in time, it's still a, a blank value. Um, and then what we need to do as well, the opposition. Um, so we wanted to, to determine the position. So if, if the user types in, for example, 10 plus 2, we want to determine at which position does that specific um, operator lie. So that's that's the opposition and the op itself will be referenced from this list. Alright, so let's see. Now if we go into determining the type of function that uh, uh, we'll, we'll be needing. So let's see. So we can say uh, determine the function type and then let's uh, so what we can do here is we can loop through this list that we do have here and we can see if any of these operations lies within the user's input so that's an easy way to do it to, to, to search from this side looking at the user's input so uh, let's start that so let's say 4i in range the length of the operation list so this will loop the, the amount of times that there's items in this list over here. So then if we go into the detail, we can say if user.find, so if user.find, and then we can use the op list and the position of i equals minus one, then we can assign the operation, so op list i, and then uh, op position equals user.find, and then op list i. So what this does is it loops through this list over here. So let's say for example the user used the operation minus. So then what this step in the process is doing, it's going to look at the user's input. It will search for the plus first. It will find a minus one. So it won't assign uh, any of this. So it, it, will, it will. So this should be not equal to. So sorry about that. So not equal to say so if it doesn't find a plus sign, it will not go into the detail of this if function. So then if it finds a value, it will assign the operation, that specific one that's a minus in this instance. And then it will also assign the value by looking at the position using the find method over here. All right, so that's then the, the function type that we are looking at. So next we can perform the calculation. And then let's see what we are going to do here. So let's say if operation equals not equals. So if operation not equals a value. So if it's not equal to um, the blank string that we assigned there. So what this means is if it's been found a value over here. So if the operation has been found, then you go into this section. So what we can do here, we can say x equals. So we want the first value. So user and then we can just... Uh, strip off the the section that's that's applicable to the x value and then what we can do here is using the opposition that we assigned there at the top and we can do something similar for the y position so we make use of the int function to convert the string value that the user provided to an integer value so here we can have integer and then so user and then we go from opposition so op position plus one to the end. So then here we can have our x value and our y value both being assigned to the variables and then we can call the, uh, let's see what we called it here. So the format calc function and then we can use our operation and our x and, and our y. So then we call the function that formats the, the calculation and then the format calculation calls the, the calculation itself. So this is a, cal uh, a, for, uh, um, a function being called within another function, which I think is quite nice at this stage in the whole process. And the very last step is to include the else as well. So we can say else print, and then here we can just give an error message um, to say error um, 
please provide a valid calculation and that should be that uh, let's give this a try and see how it goes so i'll save and i'll run the program so as we can see here please enter a calculation so let's go with 27 plus 27 and then it will have it will print the, the whole function so 27 plus 27 with the equal sign and then it will give us the total as well so the next one let's go with 90 divided by 9 it will give us the total value of 10 and this works for all the different um, features that we included so 85 minus 62 you can see that's that's 23 and then lastly let's look at the modular function so t 70 modular 7 and the modulus should be zero as there's nothing uh, left over so let's do 15 modular 4 for example we can see 4 um, times 3 that's 12 and then there's 3 remaining no wait so it's 4 8 12 and then there's 3 remaining until 15. so as we can see here and then finally let's just check for this error message that we've included here so let's say for example we just include one number it will say error please provide a valid calculation so yeah and then this works until the user press in and it will break out of this loop that we included over here so this is then in in, uh, in total the whole uh calculator app that i've been put together this is my very first um program that i've that i've put together in uh, python and yeah i think overall it came out quite nice so please let me know if you do have any questions um any advice any feedback in terms of how i could have done this uh, differently um, but overall i'm quite happy with how this turned out um, but yeah please let me know and thank you again for watching if you made it up until this point i really do appreciate it give this video a like um, and also um, to see to, for more videos to come uh, please press that subscribe button and uh, i'll catch you next time and remember it's only one line of code at a time goodbye